Hello my friends and welcome back to another video where today I will be presenting some speculation with evidence around another Years of the Tree slash First Age event we could see in the upcoming Amazon Lord of the Rings TV series. I am sure by now you have all seen and speculated and rumoured around the first official image from the show, with the three main takeaways being the two trees and the significance this plays with the timeline, the person in the image and the city itself which has been displayed on screen. Quick disclaimer, everything I mention in this video is pure speculation plot and story wise and I am not stating that we will be seeing any specific events in the upcoming show and I have no personal personally gained knowledge except from the pictures and information around the pictures itself. Now here is some previous context, I have gotten a fair few more subscribers and followers since this event happened but for those of you that don't know what really happened and what really blew Fellowship of Fans up is that we got the first official set pictures from the Amazon Lord of the Rings TV series. The other video which is still up on my channel shows the set and some trees at the top with videos of them filming live due to the lights being on etc and that's still all on my channel if you want to go and check that out. But the following week I uploaded another video revealing this icy mountainside set piece with the photo taken directly outside the studio and stage which was just literally seen by someone just walking across a bridge and just took a picture of it so no one was on their sites or premises or anything it was public view just like all the pictures have been but that's besides the point. This image got taken down within 2 hours and I received a DMCA takedown on Twitter and a copyright strike on YouTube. I think I still have some receipts I'll show on screen right now which is quite damaging stuff but luckily has been resolved. But the most important thing is that this icy mountainside set and snow slash ice theme is real and which is why I will present my reasoning for it to possibly confirm us seeing the Helcaruxe and maybe Galadriel passing it. But back to the image. What we also learn is that this image is in episode 1 and from rumours from all the way back from last year, the first two pilot episodes would actually be like a feature length movie and in the past on the actual events of the show which would start from episode 3. So, we will be seeing events of the years of the trees in episode 1 and probably episode 2 whether that be linear or be from a flashback. Knowing that, it must mean that in the pilot episodes, episode 1 and episode 2, we are going to be seeing the Years of the Trees and some first stage stuff. Now, these pictures and this icy mountainside set were taken in October 2020 when Biona was still filming the pilot episodes as the pilots actually finished filming early December so episode 3 to 8 were not filmed between it at all in 2020 except from the last two weeks of December. Also Biona posted this in October as well stating that he was midway through filming the pilot episodes. Therefore, the first important detail is that this icy mountainside set is from the first two pilot episodes which are now potentially confirmed to have the years of the trees whether that be in a flashback scene or it's a 15 minute prologue and a 2 episode length prologue but it looks like we'll be seeing that at some point in the show. Which leads to the next question, do the first two episodes have the years of the trees and first age content for the entirety of the two episodes and then go into episode 3 and then or will it just be that the scenes are just flashback scenes in the first few episodes? But either way, it still fits in with the theory of us seeing the Helcaruxe and Galadriel passing it. Which leads us on to our second takeaway which is who is the character in the image. There has been wide speculation with this with so far a lot of people saying Galadriel with her hair tied up and then maybe some people saying this might be a male character and maybe Myron etc. But if it is Galadriel and the first two episodes will either include the flashbacks to an important character boarding moment from Galadriel or the entire two episodes is a prologue to her past events even if the person in the image is not Galadriel, it still looks like we will be seeing flashback scenes or a prologue, which means that 
we might and glad Julie is an important character in this show so you might be seeing flashback scenes from her character point of view as well so that could all make sense the context around the Helkaraxe and the passing Galadriel made and why this is an important event which could be easily shown to support the backstory of the character is because firstly the king slaying of Alqualonde which occurred in 1495 of the years of the trees basically one of the last years for that age and also briefly Feanor needed some ships to go to Middle Earth as the party of the Noldo had none but the Teleri who did have ships rejected Feanor's plea which when he asked for ships. Tensions rised as the Noldo started taking some ships by force and soon enough the Teleri and Noldo began a war and started to fight. But then the host of Fingolfin arrived which to some accounts included Galadriel and the host of Fingolfin arrived late. So they had no clue how this brawl started and begun attacking the Teleri and eventually they were all killed, I mean the Teleri were all killed and Mandos dished out a few curses but in the end Feanor succeeded and took the ships. Meanwhile, Galadriel still travelled to Middle Earth despite the doom of Mandos, but did not by ship, but instead by going north and journeyed across the Helkaraxe, which was this snowy icy wasteland which connected Amman and Middle Earth together and was a quite perilous journey due to the harsh conditions and many died. The event of Galadriel making this moral character arc decision by either staying in Amman or travelling to Middle Earth despite the doom of Mandos while at the same time having to journey across this icy wasteland is a big prologue moment or flashback scene if the show wants to go into depth about her past so again works either way. This is where the set picture comes into play as when we were originally discussing and speculating this image from set of the Amazon Lord of the Rings TV series around October last year, despite not knowing the series could show the first stage and prime material, seeing Galadriel potentially pass the Helkaraxe was still one of the few ideas even back then, with others being the Red Horn Pass. Now, here is where it gets more technical and hopefully may add to the argument. When this was filmed in October at Auckland Film Studios, this set piece was just up for about a week and a longer than that I believe, it was about a week and a half. And so it looks like a substantial amount of filming happened there and secondly from eyewitnesses accounts, the four cast members that had reportedly been on set from September to December for the pilot episodes at Auckland Film Studios specifically were McCullough Kavanagh, Robert Aaron Mayo, Augustus Prue, that's how I found out about his involvement originally, and finally Morford Clark. We basically know that Morford Clark will be playing Galadriel, such as her confirming it for this article right here, and now she has reportedly been on sets back in October 2020 when they were filming on these icy mountainside back pieces and sets. So, either things are starting to add up or we are seeing massive, massive coincidences. Of course, I mentioned four actors, and those four were all sp spotted throughout the entirety of filming at Auckland Film Studios, but not all of them, for example, Robert Arameo, would have necessarily been on the Icy Mountain set that specific week. The Icy Mountainside Edge Cliff was used for the filming of the first two episodes of the show and Morphe Clark is one of those reported actors to have been on set during that time period. Adding on to this, Morphe Clark said early on in an interview last year that she has been involved in some action scenes and has had a physical toll on her and how fit she had to be and maybe the conditions of the Helkaraxe and having strong wind and having been going across this horrible terrain and would and having for example those massive wind fans blowing in your face as you're trying to get across these snowy plains and the physical fatigue of acting to cross a snowy and dangerous terrain could have a physical toll on her so she might have been this could have been one of the aspects she was talking about when in that interview she was speaking about having a much more physical role in the show as playing Galadriel. 
the passing of the Helkadaxe and the kinslaying all happened in the same years of the two trees being destroyed by Malko and Ungoliant, which all occurs in 1495 of the years of the trees. So maybe Amazon wants to show their destruction in some way as inevitably they will have to as it is a second age show. Maybe also explaining where Galadriel is during this moment would be ideal for Amazon as well which is why showing her cross the Halkaraxi is possible. Now I can see another thing that arises from this. Couldn't this confirm more stuff for example regarding the kin slaying? You might be seeing why don't you just say this confirms that as well. As what the problem here is that in if you are going to show the kinsling, you'll have to show Feyre, North, Fingolfin, and a few others. And would Amazon really want to go this far to just for the first two episodes or even four flashback scenes fully cast Feyre North? Because maybe if they want to make spin-off shows for future first aid content, you already have a Feyre North cast by an actor for one episode. And this wouldn't, it doesn't seem, it seems quite improbable and doesn't seem really feasible. Maybe you could show the kinslaying and show Galadriel at it and show some action scenes there and have no familiar faces. That could work. So we, we don't actually see Feanor or Fingolfin arriving or anything like that, but we do see it happening live. So that could, that could work. So we could see it in that way. Also, side note, the swan boats can also be seen in the image as well, which is just another cool hint. So, does this finally confirm potentially the passing of the Halkadaxe by Galadriel being confirmed nearly 10 months later from the pictures being released? As well, this image from the Lord of the Rings of Prime show is just from a backstory scene or flashback scene or whether it's going to be from a detailed prologue, whether that be 15 minutes in the first three episodes, or the entire first two episodes is one big prologue of the Years of the Trees, then yeah, we'll just have to wait and see. But it does seem like it's looking more likely that having the Helkaraxi there as at the same time, I know there are lots of, there are not too many, um, snowy locations like that while in Beleriand at the time of course you know there are but spending a week filming with this back set means that has to be a big big seat because that's a week of filming and that is actually quite a lot if you think about it really so may and the hell said having to get that perfectly shot of course again fully showing it maybe why it took a week for that so yeah we'll just have to wait and see because maybe if it was just some trees or something like that maybe we just saw a nice I don't know um elven just architectural background that is that'll be cool but we wouldn't be able to get that much from it but from this it's so narrowed down this uh, having this icy mountainside set that we could finally and now we've got this years of the tree stuff here it's starting to look more and more likely but of course not confirmed not claiming it is but i'm just saying it's looking more likely so of course, with strong speculation like this, there will always be drawbacks and problems, and the re and the reason um and that's why I'm totally fine with that as well. But the reason I'm making this video and statement is that it started to look more and more likely, as I've mentioned earlier. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. That in well done. Some of you already knew about this because I had a few messages saying, "Hey, does." Hey, I remember your pictures from last year. This could this confirm the Helkaraxi? So shout out to everyone who did that. Really good work. This is just the final speculation as well. We'll just have to wait and see if we were right. But thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. But until the next video, my friends, goodbye.